Yo, what is up, guys? It's Sam, and I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you the Mandalorian Battle Pack. In my opinion, this is the best Battle Pack that came out this year. I just like it because it came out with these all different Mandalorians. So, first, we got this blue Mandalorian, which I really like. He also has good light printings. He has back printings, but you don't really need back printing if he's going to be covered. Next, we have this Mandalorian, who I really like and all, but they don't give him light printing. And you're like, what's the matter? But I just feel like he feels uncom incomplete from Lego. Next, we got this guy, the green and blue one. I like this guy, but I just don't think this green and blue goes well together. And as you can see, they all have just a black head. Then finally, this is my favorite guy by far. This is like the silver and blue guy. I don't really know how to describe his color. He has a black cape. I gave them all the capes you want, but you can like customize them. You can like switch them out so it looks whatever to you. And I give him, I give these two guys the range finders because these two guys aren't going to be on the other stuff. So I'm going to move these guys to set aside and I'll show you these. Okay, so this is what it actually came with. It came with a little speeder and then like a little ruined spot where you can just build stuff. And if you don't want, you could just take this apart and it has like a little base weight that you could use. But I'm gonna move that aside and I'm gonna show you this little speeder. So this is actually a really good speeder. If you guys ever got the 2011 Mandalorian Battle Pack, which I really love that set, I actually made a stop motion about it. Speaking of it, here, here is what the old Mandalorian looks like. Yeah, I don't have the speeder intact, but that's what he looks like compared to the other guy. But honestly, I like both of them. Like, you can go either way. This one will probably be a little more expensive, but I just love the overall. But anyways, going back to the speeder, I really like this speeder. I'll put a guy in right now. So I put a guy on, you can even attach him. I didn't put it fully on. Here, I'm just gonna put on one of these blasts here. I kind of hate Lego for just not putting on, for giving them stud shooters, what, that's what they're called. I just don't understand why Lego always gives the new things stud shooters. It's so annoying. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. I actually really like the speeder design. I know people might hate on the colors because the hell it, colors are all weird, but I think this looks sick. Then also we got the little ruined area. This is a pretty cool area. Oh, that keeps on falling off. But I say this is a pretty cool idea, and people complain about the stud shoot. Right here is the only, um, only place where I actually like the stud shoot. Oh, wrong guy. Here you go. Here. I'll take the stud shooter off for one second and just put a regular blaster on. But I know this probably like might look cooler for you guys to remove my hand out of the way. But I really do like this a lot better. So that's going to wrap up the review. Um, I'll try to post another video tonight maybe. If I have time. And also shout out to... SCD Madden. I'll link his channel in the description. He's going to be posting model Madden Club. He's my friend. And this is just a lineup of the minifigures. And that's it. 